Hello guys, have you heard of filament in Laravel? Probably you have, otherwise you were living under a rock for the last few years. And in this video I will try to convince those of you who haven't tried yet. With a quick showcase of what filament is capable of just with a few artisan commands and a few lines of code. Because more and more I see tweets like this from Andrew for example. I've been a little hesitant, haven't tried filament, although it's popular, should I give it a shot? Another tweet, never used filament before but want to give a try. So yeah, in this video, a quick showcase. I will create a small but real filament project based on my own database of notes. Inspirational notes I say for myself in the database. So I already have a Laravel project and database and model set up in Eloquent. And I will quickly build an admin panel in filament for that. So I have a Laravel project with Laravel database with table of notes with just no text. Then we have tags and then there's belongs to many relationship between them in node tag. Now we need to build admin panel to manage those nodes. So I open that project in PHP Storm and we will install filament. If we open the docs of installation all we need to do is to copy these two commands composer require and filament install. We run those it will run almost automatically. It will ask only one question. What is the ID, meaning the URL of your admin panel, which is slash admin. We'll leave it as it is. Actually, second question, starting the filament, not at the moment, and okay, it is installed. And right away, already we can go into our browser, into our website and type in slash admin, and we have a login form. By default, locally on your web server, all the users that you have in the database, in my case, I have one user, all of them can log in by a login form. So I copy that and I log in and we are already inside Filament. So as you can see, I haven't typed any line of code yet. I just launched two commands. The second step is create so-called resources, CRUDs for database tables. In our case, it's one CRUD, one resource of managing nodes. And for that, we run artisan command of filament, make filament resource with the model name as a parameter. In our case, it's node, and it will generate a few files for that resource. Now we refresh the page and we already see nodes as a menu item and we already see the list of nodes. So as you can see, 2000 results, exactly as I have in the database, it just doesn't show any columns. So this is the next step. We open the file called node resource, so app filament node resource, and we have two functions, table and form. And in the table, we'll provide the columns, in the form, we'll provide the inputs. And that is very easy to do. In the columns array, we'll provide text column of note text, text column make note text like this. And then in the function called form above, we provide the schema of text area in our case, make with the column name of note text here. Now see what happens. We refresh and we have note text seen in the table. If you want to add a new note, you click new note, you type something, you create, and it's already saved in the database. So if we go to notes again, we go to the last page and we see our note here. See how easy it is. Now I will show you how easy it is to customize something in Filament. There are gazillions of functions, but for example, you want to show only the first hundred characters of that text area value because it's obviously too long. So you go to that text column and you provide limit, for example, 100. We refresh and we have 100 characters. Another thing is sorting. For example, let's add ID also visible. So let's have another text column of ID sortable. And then in the table function, let's provide default sort functionality. It's almost everything auto completed by my PHP storm. So I don't need to remember the exact names of the functions quite often. Default sort by ID descending and then we refresh and we have id visible and now our new node on top so we can go to edit and delete it here you can make delete button available in the table as well but i'm just showing the default filament so that's how easy it is to customize something in filament like columns in the table 
Finally, let's add a relationship to tags. In this case, belongs to many to manage those nodes with tags. So in the new node here, we want to choose the tags with multiple tags. There are multiple ways, multiple components, how to do that in filament, like select dropdown with many to many relationship. But if I have only a few options, in my case, tags, there are only like 10 tags or even fewer. This is the list, so it's nine tags. I prefer to use checkbox list. So in the form, in addition to node text, we add checkbox list make. Relationship name is tags. According to the model here, note model, tags in Eloquent is defined with belongs to many. And we define with filament relationship. Relationship name is tags. And what field to show title attribute will be tags name. And if we refresh, refresh the form, and here it is. But it doesn't look too pretty, so let's make a few changes here. So for text area, we will make it column span full. And for checkbox list, we will make it columns of three columns, for example. We refresh, looks much better. And now if we type in something, choose a few tags, we create, it is created by default, it is not redirecting to the list, but we can go to the list manually. And we see our note here, but we don't see the tags here. Let's add that column as well. So in the table, we add another text column and filament will automatically recognize it as belongs to many relationship. If we put in the relationship name tags dot name like this, we refresh and we have our tags comma separated. Or maybe you don't like commas, you prefer badges. It's easy badge here, refresh. We have badges like proper tags visually. So yeah, then you create your filament project with more resources, more columns, more forms and more functionality. There are many more features in filament. I've just shown you the basic installation with one resource, but you can send notifications, you can customize action buttons, you can build information list, you can build similar tables publicly, not necessarily under admin panel. You can build a few separate admin panels for like users and administrators in one Laravel project. You can build widgets for the dashboard and a lot more things. We even built a dedicated page filamentexamples.com to showcase various examples like forms, charts, full systems like CRM, just to showcase what filament is capable of. So you can browse around those examples and see something for the inspiration. So yeah, I hope some of you are sold on at least try and filament if you haven't yet. But if you have any questions and you still need convincing, or maybe you have a question something like, is filament good for my project, then yeah, describe your project in the comments. And I will try to answer and give some advice. And also you can follow and subscribe to another channel. I have a separate YouTube channel called filament daily because I've been working with filament for a few years now and I have a lot of videos there as well. But that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.